welcome to bushfirepair.com. Today we're going to show you how to test a Briggs & Stratton ignition coil and see if it's worn out or if it will still be working. First thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our multimeter. We're going to set it to 20k ohm here. And we're looking for a reading on these coils of between 2,500 ohms to 5,000 ohms. We're going to get our positive lead and just put it in where the spark plug would go. Give it a scratch so it contacts. Then we're going to put our negative lead here on the metal. And on this coil, we're getting no reading. So it's infinite resistance, meaning there's no connectivity. So this one seems to be broken. And if we go to this next coil, we'll do the same thing. Give it a good scratch. Connect it. See on this coil? got 2.8 k ohms or 2.78 so this is a working coil and it should be fine for your muller. We'll give this third one a test. Just the same process. See so again it's got no resistance or infinite resistance Okay, so you can see here, this one we get an average reading of about 2.7, 2.8. Briggs and Stratton coils are generally meant to function until about 5. If you've got anything over 5, there's too much resistance in the coil. So between about 2.5 and, and 5 is where you want your coil to be. If it's outside of that range, it's most likely the problem on your mower.